Merry Christmas everyone. I thought maybe this week I could do a challenge. So I've got a couple of miniatures that came in the Titan Forge Christmas pack. Fantastic little minis and absolutely primed for this time of year. We've got Krampus, we've got Santa with a gun. What more could we want? Let's do it. Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas everyone! So, what are we going to do? Paint Santa, what else are you going to do? Oh right, that's it. We said Krampus, didn't we? So these sculpts from Titan Forge. If you've not checked it out, I'll put the link in the description below. Head over to Patreon, have a look. They do some epic, epic minis every month. I primed the minis. Pretty simple job. Black, white zenithal highlight, nothing special. And I've given myself one hour per mini. See what I can come up with. So, without further ado, let's get to the painting desk and see what we can come up with. Here we go guys, a little bit of a different format this week since it's a speed paint with not individual steps. So these are 3D printed minis from the Titan Forge Christmas collection. We've got Battle Santa and Krampus. And I'm using my normal style of painting as well, which is more glaze based. So first thing that I'm doing is I'm going to wash in all the different parts of the minis that I want to be the various colours. For the most part I'll be using Citadel shades here and that's going to be a mixture of pre-thinned Citadel shades that I've thinned down myself with a little bit of uh, distilled water and also some raw shades straight out of the pot just to get that richness of colour. And I'll be flipping backwards and forwards between the two minis to give each one a chance to dry. It's a really interesting way of painting if you've not already tried this. Um, I strongly recommend you give it a go. So over this monochromatic base coat of um, black and then a 45 degree zenithal highlight in white and then a straight top down zenithal highlight of white again just to reinforce those highlights, I hit it straight away with thin washes. It's an interesting way of painting, I prefer it personally, uh, it lends itself much more towards my style of, of painting, I do enjoy glazing quite a lot though. Not to everybody's taste, but certainly for me, something that I like. And I do find that you see progress on the mini a lot faster than when I'm using a traditional technique of painting. Also, it lets me use a little bit bigger brush and not worry too much. It's, it's quite easy to get rid of the wash. The only thing you've got to be wary of is coffee staining. It can be an issue. I mean, you know what washes are like in general anyway, so if you're painting the entire mini in that, that fashion, just be careful. So another thing you might notice as well is how I'm holding the minis. Um, I've got to be a little bit more careful, especially this Santa one. It was it was difficult to mount and I couldn't really find anywhere to put a pin in it. Um, and obviously using very thin washes, uh, I ended up getting quite a bit on my hands and smudged in a couple of places so I had to go back and, and do things. And the nice thing as well is that having this uh, monochromatic underpainting in the black and white and then painting the black on the weapons it gives a really nice pseudo non-metallic metal effect without having to put too much effort in. Now don't get me wrong it's nowhere near as good as real non-metallic metal um, but it does give you a really nice base coat to go from. Um, you can, in fact you can leave it there you can't see it greatly in the video you can see it better in some of the pictures at the end um, but I liked it. So here you see me coming back in with a uh, standard Carabao Crimson from Citizel, not thinned down. Um, this is the second coat, I did three of them and it really gave some richness to Battle Santa's overcoat which looked awesome compared to Krampus which I kept quite dull and dirty. I wanted it to look like he was a little bit more um, sinister. Another thing as well that was a first for me is my use of cork on the base of Krampus. I've uh, never done it before, that was fun. Uh, one of the only places I actually did use normal paints was here for the edge highlighting and on some of Krampus's fur. Another first for me in this is I used the Citadel Snow, Asset, uh, Snow Effect, Valhalla Blizzard. Really interesting stuff, I do like how it came out. I've used the Vallejo one before and I've got to admit I think the Citadel one was better, if not way more expensive. And there we are, done. Just an hour on each one guys. Pretty happy there. 
I may have snuck him on the Christmas tree when the wife wasn't looking. You know, just to protect the presents. We don't want anybody stealing them after all. Good old Battle Santa. And then Krampus. I'm really happy with how Krampus turned out, to be honest. Uh, what a fun miniature to paint, and even better that it was a freebie. So, yeah, thank you, Titan Forge. Ho, ho, ho. Well, what do you think? Do you guys do any type of painting challenges like this? Sometimes it's really good to push yourself, and I think having an hour limit really does kind of make you think. What can I get done? What can I achieve? Where can I cut those corners without it looking bad? I'm not sure I've managed that. I'm pretty happy with the face on Krampus and I think Santa overall looks badass because, well, who doesn't love Santa with a gun? Oh, and before I forget, if you're interested, and I'm guessing you are interested in mini painting and the hobby stuff if you're watching this, then I do actually co-present a podcast with a couple of other guys. We have a laugh every couple of weeks talking about law, painting, general banter, so yeah, give us a listen. You can find us over at droppod.info. I'll put a link down in the description. So, until next time, drop me a like, give me a thumbs up. If you're not already, please do subscribe. What I want to do is make high quality hobby content and give something back to a community that's given me so much. Well, that's it for this year, guys. I hope you have a Merry Christmas. And don't forget, if you're going to do crack, make sure it's plastic. See ya.